How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 2 of The Mandalorian. This episode is titled The Passenger, or Chapter 10, The Passenger. So it turns out we actually had a lot of Easter eggs last episode, um, dedicated to like kind of KOTOR. And I never picked up on it at all. Like the pearl inside the Crate Dragon, Crate, crate Dragon. And um, the way they took down the Crate Dragon was apparently like a mission from KOTOR, which which is kind of cool. That's that's pretty cool. And also, I didn't even know this. Timothy Oliphant's character actually was a character in some novels or comics, I think. So that's interesting. I didn't know that because I saw other people talking about it, like he was a marshal in the comics or the novels. So that that's pretty cool that they've made him... Is it canon now or was that in Legends? Was he a thing in Legends? He might have been a thing in Legends. Wouldn't be surprised. Most of the things that get put into canon nowadays are f usually from Legends. It's too bad Dirge isn't canon anymore. Neither is a badass Grievous. Last episode we got the return of Boba Fett. The Mando went to Tatooine to fight off a crate Dragon. And, you know, he defeated it with the Marshal. He took Boba Fett's armor back. And then Boba is watching over him. And it turns out it actually was Boba from last season because you could hear the spurs at the end of the episode. Oh, my God. But, yeah, um, I'm really excited to get into this episode. I don't know what else I could talk about here as for a recap. Boba. Like, that was a really, like, a huge thing. Even though last episode was fantastic. I loved it from beginning to end. Like, the beginning scene with, like, the wrestling match or, like, the the gladiator battle. Baby Yoda and the Mando have gone off Tatooine now, I assume, and we're going somewhere else. Maybe Boba could follow them. Because would the Slave 1 still be on Tatooine? It would be, right? I think it might be. Because, I mean, he's probably been on Tatooine for a couple of years now. Maybe he's just retired. Because I know in, like, a novel, wasn't it Dengar or a comic? Dengar found it. Uh... He got him out of the Sarlacc pit or something. There's different versions of what happened, but I think Boba pulled himself out. And he's obviously been messed up because he's got a scar there. Unless that's from Clone Wars. That might have been from Clone Wars. Now that I think about it. But yeah, let's get right into the episode. Why didn't they show Boba? I guess they're saving that for another previously, when he finally comes back. Wait. Oh no, he's still in Tatooine. Also... The pod racing engine was Anakin's, apparently, which was... I pointed that out in the reaction. Oh, no, they're going to clothesline him, dude. That would be heading. That fast, his head would be gone into next year. Oh, baby Yoda. Oof. Wait, who is this? Bounty Hunters? Or are they part of that crew from last season? Ha! Oh. oh, you wouldn't. No. Not his jetpack. He only just got it, like two episodes ago. He's gonna pull out his gun and just shoot him. Wait, did he blow up? <laughs> oh, he let go of it. Oh, that's sick. I mean, they're still alive, they're knocked out. Although he's still got, like, the, uh, like the, what would you call it, the, the saliva. Imagine this whole season set on Tatooine. I doubt it. We don't need that. We don't need another desert planet again. I, I love... I love the soundtrack of this, this show. I listen to it. It's so Western, man. And I love it. Because it's so... It's, it feels different for Star Wars, but it still feels f familiar. You know, you've got the creep... The cantina, dude. Oh, yes. We get to see, like, some cool creatures. Probably some new ones, too, right? Ah, oh, Isn't that in the uh, special edition? Like, wasn't it one of the cut creatures? Because I remember that, that that used to be in that corner, right? In New Hope. Prosthetics are so good. Uh, not prosthetic. Animatronics. Also, R5. That's That was an Easter egg, too. I'm probably going to miss Easter eggs in this episode. There, there's too much Star Wars stuff to know. I know some people like hardcore with it. Gonk Joy back there. God damn it. Two episodes in a row. It is literally like a side quest on a, on like a, in a game. Like his main quest is to get Baby Yoda to his people, which is the Jedi, right? And these are the side quests. Cool creature design. Have we seen that creature before? Probably. Somewhere. In the Star Wars lore. What is the eggs, though? Like, if they've not seen the father, is the father the same species, or is it another species? 
What's he gonna do here? Don't unleash it, baby Yoda. You don't know what's, what egg that is. Could be anything. She could be lying. Oh, yeah! He He just killed an unborn child. Unless he senses something is wrong. Hey! X Wings, baby! Is this Dave Filoni's character? <laughs> Under the mask, he's like, for fuck's sake. Surely he can see it in there, right? I'm gonna fall back. Oh no. What? Oh. <laughs> it is Dave Filoni. He's a good pilot. He's a decent pilot. He's not amazing, but he is a decent pilot. Why? Oh. Does this smell planet? Imagine it's Ilum. It's not. Because we know Ilum becomes Starkiller base, right? Oh no. Oh, great. Oh wait, this was the poster. Like the fan, I don't know if it was fan made or an official poster. There was a poster of like the Mando stood up on top of the Vaser Crest. And it, it like a van court was there. What baby Yoda? He was sleeping. Oh no. <laughs> Imagine he's just eating them. Oh my god, he is. He's hungry, you know? Surely the, if the mother would know how many eggs are left, right? Ah. Oh. The baby here. Uh, that's why they shoved the. down the previously. Oh, I'm gonna pull that card on him? He's not a. This is very similar to how episode 2 of last season, right? Like, the ship crashed. I need to get, like, Jawas to repair it and stuff. But this time he's on a snow planet, so I don't know who's gonna repair it now. Why does that look like a toy from that angle? Like, he looks smaller than he should be there. It might be because it's a set, and it just looks weird. I don't know. I'm gonna find lightsaber crystals. That's to be something in this cave, right? Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her swim. She's warming up the eggs. She's gotta eat them. He just wants food. Oh, they look like heads from a certain angle. Oh, is it eggs? Yoda. Killing everything, dude. I'm telling you, he's a dark side. Yeah. Ew. Ugh. He's just a, a face hugger, dude. Oh, no, that's disgusting, dude. The way he's running! Oh, that's nasty! It's like spiders! Uh oh. And then there's gonna be a massive one. Oh! Oh! oh what is that? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, I just hearing that in your ear, then just. Jesus, it's massive! I mean, the, the small ones are massive, technically. That's bigger than the normal. Yeah, it is kind of like a spider. What? It's jumping like a frog. Just run, just don't, don't look back, just keep running. Wait, did he kill it? He didn't run away, he didn't run, walk that far away from the ship, did he? Finally, the flamethrower is going to be put to use. Oh my god, that is just wrong. Why? That just looks weird. That, that, that just looked weird, the way Yoda was running there. <laughs> Oh, they're in the ship. Ah. Yoda, use the force. That was good aim. Finally, the flamethrower <laughs> helped a little bit. They're gonna get in. Especially if there's a bigger one. I don't know if you fixed it that much, though. Like, was that enough time to fix it? I guess they skipped over a bit. Oh, yeah. I had a feeling that it wasn't dead. That felt too easy. Ew. Oh, that's so, that's great CG though. Wait, is that Boba? That sounds like his blaster. It would make sense, like maybe his suit's got a tracker on it. No, that sounds like more than one person. Ah, oh, it's, it's Rebels. How did they find him? Ah, from last season. Why do you give Dave Filoni some lines? Really, they didn't. They just. They just leave it. Wow. 
There was more than that, B8. There was a shit ton of them. <laughs> a baby Yoda's say. <laughs> oh. Yoda. How? How? That's it? Peyton Reed? Oh shit. Ooh. It didn't look like that, did it? It didn't have them bad things on him. Another decent episode. A bit slower though, because we didn't really progress the story as much. Because last episode we had a bit of story progression. You know, it was the beginning of the season, we got Boba back, you know? Like that's that's going to have some big consequences. But I have a feeling the reason they didn't show him last season is probably because they didn't get uh, Tamira back. And they just used some stand-in. That's usually what they do with shows like this. There, there was no need to get him back. I think this season he's going to play a big role in this season as Boba. Probably later on in the season. Um, but yeah, it was cool seeing the Vebbles. Uh, Dave Filoni's character, which was last season. Um, like a last season, was it episode 6 last season? Where they, they, they were getting the prisoner out of the cell and then they all betrayed the Mando and then the Mando killed all of them. Uh, and then he left Bill Burr's character and another character alive and they, they put them in a cell. But yeah, solid, solid episode. I, I, I might have missed a couple of references and maybe them creatures and spider-like creatures which was disgusting are actually from like KOTOR or something ah okay here we go the design for the arachnids were meant to be featured in the Empire Strikes Back knobbly white spiders were were meant meant to be seen in these scenes but never made the final cut so they actually were meant to be there. Let me let me see the Easter eggs though that I might have missed a couple because I know I know Dave Filoni's character. Yeah, it doesn't see uh, the spider egg scene also seems to be a reference to the face hugger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I anyone would catch that. Like, come on, especially since I just beat um, Alien Isolation. Bo both and five. Uh, the prisoner ship from the prison is directly connected to this episode. Yeah, which is cool. I like that. I like that they're connecting some episodes that weren't really considered big story progressions. Even though episode six last season was great. Like, I like the episode when they went onto the prisoner ship and he got betrayed and he fought like a bunch of uh, different species and stuff. I'm, I'm liking the season so far. I mean, we're two episodes in. We've got, what, six episodes left, right? It's eight episode season. I, I Usually they don't... It seems like it's a lot of like smaller stories for like the next couple of episodes. I feel like episode three to five will probably be smaller like side quest stuff just to kind of explore the galaxy and explore the universe a little bit more. Or, because it seems like last episode and this episode were pretty much directly connected. Like he was on the speed at the end of last episode and he was still on it at the beginning of this one. So it feels like it's going to be a lot more connected as a season rather than last season where there was a couple of episodes that just fell out of place. I'm excited to see where next episode goes. Uh, the f we'll see if it's going to be connected to this one in any way. We'll see if the prisoners uh, or the passengers are still there. Baby Yoda eating the eggs. I don't know what to say about that. He's clearly hungry. All right? You need to give him some food, Manda. But yeah, um, looking forward to the next episode. Excited to see where they go with this season because obviously there's rumours about Ahsoka and um, Sabine and Vex and, you know, obviously Boba's back, so that's a big thing. I don't think Boba might be as involved as we think he will be. If Vex, because there's rumours Vex will be a part of this season, if Vex is a part of this season, then maybe, potentially... It would make sense Ahsoka being in this season, considering she is a Jedi, right? Well, she's like a white Jedi. That's that's what they refer to it, or a grey Jedi. That's what they refer to it as. Like she's between. She's not a Jedi, but she's like. She's like a grandmaster at this point. You <laughs> at the end of Rebel, she's like a grandmaster. Like she has the horde and she's got like the staff and stuff, which is great. Really excited to see what we get the rest of the season and maybe lightsaber fight. Because we got the Dark Saber and Gus, uh, Giancarlo's character. I keep saying Gus Fang. Breaking Bad is just. Oh, every time I think of Giancarlo, I just think of Gus Fang. Like, what else can I think of, right? I mean, he's in a lot of shows, you know? So, overall, it was a pretty solid episode with. But it just felt like more of a side quest than an actual story progression, which is fine. Not every episode has to be a story progression. You can have some character moments and some fun moments in the show, that's fine. But considering the season is only eight episodes, I wouldn't want to really waste time 
Because remember, with Clone Wars Season 7, they kind of had that mediocre story arc with Ahsoka that wasn't that good, but then you have the Siege of Mandalore, which just was like, what? I'd, I'd love a live-action version of that, or something live-action of that. But yeah, I will see you guys for the next video, which will probably be for The Walking Dead, because I'm not going to be reacting to World Beyond anymore until, like, maybe episode 9 or 10. Uh, so yeah. The Mandalorian fans, I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta! And farewell. Phone vibrated. And also, Disney, please don't block my reaction.